Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problems on disjunctive normal form that is a DNF. In the previous video, we are already discussed about what is the definition of DNF, what is the procedure we have to follow to convert the given formula into equivalent DNF and we are already solved one example problem on DNF. So these are the three points that we are discussed in the previous video. Now in this video we have to discuss about two example problems by using the procedure that we are already discussed in the previous video. Okay now we go for example problem. Okay so the given formula is negation of P conditional Q and R. So this is the given formula. For this given formula, we have to find out the equivalent DNF by using the three steps that we are discussed in the previous video. Okay. So what is the given formula? So negation of P conditional Q and R. Okay, so according to the first step in the conversion, if the given formula contains any conditional connective or biconditional connective, then that can be converted in the form of negation and connective and R connective. Okay, but here the given formula contains only conditional, there is no biconditional symbol is there. Now this conditional symbol can be converted into negation and R connective. Okay. So what is the formula we have to use? We are already know that the well known formula is P conditional Q is logically equivalent to so negation P R Q. So this is the well known formula. Okay, conditional connective can be converted into so negation and R connective. So here the negation symbol can be right here in this way or in this way. Okay, both are correct. There is no problem at all. Okay, next. So according to this formula, the given formula can be converted into in this way. So this negation also can be written in this form. So negation of, so this is uh, P and Q and R can be treated as Q. So now this is P, this is Q, P conditional Q. It can be written as negation P or Q. In the place of negation P, P is there. So that is a negation P or in the place of Q, what is there? Q and R is there. Okay, by applying this formula, the given problem can be converted into this step. Okay, this is the equivalent. Okay, now we have to apply the negation inside the parenthesis. So, negation of negation P, negation of negation P, negation of R is nothing but and next negation of Q and R. Okay, next one. So negation of negation P, we already know that. So negation of negation P is equal to P. We are already know that double negation law. So P and so here negation of Q and R. So this is the uh, De Morgan's law. We have to apply the negation on the inner side of the components. So here this is the uh, De Morgan's law. De Morgan's law. Okay. So for this one P and negation of Q is nothing but negation Q. Negation of and is nothing but R. Negation of R is nothing but negation R. Okay. 
So now apply the distributive law. Distributive law. So here P and is multiplied with every component within the parenthesis. Okay, that is called as distributive law. So P and is multiplied with the negation Q. So that is P and the negation Q. Here R is same. P and is multiplied with the P and negation R. P and negation R. So after applying the distributive law, this step can be converted into equivalent this step. Okay, so observe this uh, equation or formula in this one. So this is one elementary product because P and negation Q are connected by using unconnective. Here P and negation R is connected by using unconnective. So this is one elementary product. This is another elementary product. These two elementary products are connected by using R connective. So then it is a sum of elementary products. Sum of elementary products is nothing but DNF. Okay. So therefore P and negation Q or P and negation R is the is the equivalent equivalent DNF because the above formula is in the form of sum of elementary product. This is one elementary product. This is another elementary product. These two elementary products are connected by using R connective. DNF can be simply called as sum of elementary products. Okay. So here I am applying four formulas. Here P conditional Q is logically equivalent to negation P or Q. Negation of negation P is nothing but P. This is a double negation law. And this is the De Morgan's loss. Negation of Q and R is logically equivalent to negation Q R, negation R. Next, applying the distributive law, P and is multiplied with every component within the parenthesis. P and is multiplied with the negation Q or P and is multiplied with the negation R. So this is one elementary product. This is one elementary product. These two elementary products are connected by using R connective. R connective is nothing but sum. Sum of elementary products. So in the case of normal forms, R connective can be treated as sum and and connective can be treated as product. Okay. So this is one product. This is one product. These two products are combined by using R connective. That is sum. Sum of elementary products. That is the equivalent DNF. Okay. 